guys, Unif Essentials here. I've had a couple of requests on how to make Orbit chairs using regular items. Now these chairs go from $1,800 and above. They're pretty expensive. Now for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I recreated this Orbit chairs using regular items. Starting with cardboard boxes. I got empty cardboard boxes from Walmart and I'm going to arrange them on the floor like this. I spread them out and join the pieces together with tape and cut out just the amount that I'll need for the project. And then I started rolling it to make it easier for me to work with it. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made the second one using the same measurements as the first one. I'm going to be holding this together with tape. The next thing I'll do is make cuts on one end to make it easy for me to bend them to give me a curved shape. I'm working on the shape that will be at the back of the orbit chair. Now for that, I'm going to have a stool placed in the middle and a hanging basket for flowers. And I got this in the garden section of Lowe's. So this round shape is going to be at the back of the orbit chair. The stool in the middle is just for support, so I'm going to have the hanging basket on top of it. Now, I realized this is really low and will not be deep enough for an orbit chair, so I took it out and I replaced it with a plastic drawer storage. I'll use a staple gun to hold the cardboard around the hanging basket. This was not holding the pieces so well, the pins kept coming out, so I decided to just use tape instead. And it held it well, so I decided to just use it all around. Now that I have my shape, I'm going to bring it out and then test it to see if I can fully put my body inside. Yep. I went inside to make sure that it's going to fit. And I still have extra space. I put everything back together the way it was. And then now I'm going to be holding the cardboard and the plant holder together with zip ties. This is just to hold both of them together in place. The next thing I'll do is use flexible PVC strips to make a nice and defined round shape for the orbit here. Now the list of all the items that I used for this project will be in the description box below. These can be found in the molding section in any home improvement store. I attached it to the cardboard with screws for now just to keep it in place. I'll add another one to make sure that I get a perfectly round shape. This time around I'll be using screws to hold both PVC strips and the cardboard together. I 
I'm going to add another one because the front just has to be a perfect circle. The next thing I'll do is fortify the back with more PVC strips. And these PVC strips will be attached to the ones in front and I'll be holding them together with mending plates. I kept adding more until I was okay with the shape. Now at the middle here, I'm going to be holding all the PVC strips together with the long screw. I'm going to add two more. The inside has to be strong, so I'll be adding a PVC strip there and then attaching it to the PVC strip that's on the outside. And then down here, I'll be adding the cutout pieces. The pieces at this particular place here would be for the seating area. I'll be attaching all of them to the PVC strips that are on the outside. Now that I have a defined shape, the second cardboard that I rolled will be attached inside. I held it to the structure with tape, then I used a pink tape to indicate where the sitting area will be. Now moving on to the base, I'm going to need a wide curved metal plate to be able to hold the weight of the chair. Now this metal plate is a squirrel baffle that I got at the garden section of Lowe's. You can also get this in any other home improvement store. I'll be attaching it to an empty paint can. I spray painted the curved metal plate and the tin can gold. I'll be attaching them together with screws. I attached what I made to the body of the chair like this. But there was a slight problem. The tin can was too small, so I switched it up for a wider one. Now this part here is very important. Before you attach this, you have to find the center of gravity so that you can have your chair well balanced. The next item is also very important to keep this chair well balanced, and that is a thick round wooden board. I attach this thick wooden board to the tin can with screws. Now just to let you guys know the wooden board that's at the bottom is an old wooden board that I spray painted gold. That's why it has a lot of imperfections. I'll be covering the inside with batting. But first I'm going to cover that wide circle on the inside with this foam that has been covered with batting for a failed project that I had a long time ago. That's going to be there. Now I'll be attaching the batting inside with a staple gun. I 
I got this from Walmart and it's a pre-cut fabric and this will be on the inside and on the outside as well. For the inner circular shape, I'll be using the circular rug that I got from Five Below. I attached it with a staple gun. I also used batting on the outside and on the edges and then covered the entire thing with fabric. Now this is what the finished look of the Orbit chair looks like. For the inside I just used a patio chair that I had and covered it up with a fur shiny fabric. And this is what I have, but then you can use the same white faux fabric for the inside, just to keep it more uniform. But I like it this way much better. I sat on it and it's really comfortable. I was on my way out to run some errands, but I was so excited about the chair that I had to make a video of me sitting on it. Because I know you guys are going to be asking if you can sit on the chair. So yeah you can sit on the chair. It's very comfortable and it's well balanced. Just remember the base should be something strong like a wooden base or iron or steel and then what you have in between should be strong enough for an adult to sit on. I love this chair but unfortunately I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to give it to a relative of mine that's going to come pretty soon because I don't have space for it. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 